Hello everyone. I'm surprised. Are you surprised? We're going to be playing some Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. <laughs> Spooky. So we'll watch this um this intro. Uh I guess it's kind of a track screen, isn't it, in the arcade tradition. It starts us off. We'll go run one round three. Um, so there's yeah. So this is like a, a nice town full of quiet industry and um links around. Lovely footwear animation, I love that. Um yeah, it's just sort of nonchalantly hanging out, you know. Yeah, an office of some kind, I think. Yeah, it's just there's Link wagging his legs on the vent. Oh my goodness, Pikachu! I did mention this was a horror game, didn't I? And then there's this thoughtful person, uh, just sort of ruminating on on life at the bottom of the stairs. So that's cool. And uh, and yeah, without context, I don't, don't really know what any of that means. Um, this presumably is a bell, um, a magical bell because some of its text just floating off the shape of it. Oh, and oh, that little, uh, that cool little creature is uh, is a fairy, presumably. Yeah, it's an attractive town full of interesting textures. Um, and there's Link again. I look at um, some kind of tower with a, with a light on it. Yeah, so I think I think we'll just see some uh, some nice calm scenes of town life, full of uh, peaceful industry, and uh, and nothing nothing seems to be going wrong. So I, I don't know, don't even know why uh, Link here of Legend needs to turn up here. Really, and there's that mask again. So I'm just wearing the mask, and uh, oh. I think there's something wrong with your moon. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, A Nightmare Out of Melias. Okay. Right, well, uh, let's get going then. Uh, I think if you let the, um, the intro screen roll, you get some more scenes of, of Link sort of nonchalantly kicking his legs uh, in different parts of the uh, land you'll visit. So if you want some more hints of what's to come, you can um, watch it that way. But I think. Just getting through the first one, it probably has a few little uh, little visual clues there as to what you'll need to do the first time you start playing. So I thought that was worth showing everybody. Okay, well let's let's get cracking then. Uh, I will start a file up. I could be creative, but I think as we're going to hear the name probably quite a lot, I'm just going to stick with Link because that is probably going to grate the least out of everything I could put in. I just don't feel like I can get away with calling uh, calling him consequences, really. There we go. Okay, well let's let's go. Let's let's start this adventure. And I'll uh, I'll talk a little bit more about Legend of Zelda in general once we've we've been through this uh, opening cutscene. I think. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. Legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends.
Oof. Oh, hello. Hee hee, you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Hmm? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Rude. Hey, that's my ocarina brackets of time. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tail. What do we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Oh, but sis, boy, can I try it out too? Don't hold on, that looks, looks like it's going to be painful. Yeah, I told you. Oh, well, Link, that's your answer to everything. Right, now we have control. Let's go. I, the game's clearly signposted where I need to go, so I'm going to have a look everywhere else. And, um. Oh, oh there's a little, little corner up there. Oh, that's hard to back out of. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, 2000's Majora's Mask. So, um, officially, it's a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. I've never finished Ocarina of Time, and I don't really know how that story concludes, so I don't know how how relevant Ocarina of Time really is, other than there being a, an Ocarina in this one too. But obviously it shares similar, uh, the same engine essentially, and uh, similar functions. Uh, similarly a kind, kind of an attempted intuitive camera, they hadn't quite, this is early 3D, so we haven't really nailed down you can use an analog stick to direct the camera as well, so we might get into some sticky views. These, I must say, I find the I find Ocarina of Time a little hard to digest visually, but for some reason Majora's Mask is wonderful to me. I love I love these uh, these very graphic uh, sort of <laughs> two and a half D let's call them uh, shrubs that you can. Um, you can pick up, if I press the right button, there you go. You can pick up and throw! How delightful is that? And all the little shards that, that fly off. They're delightful. So, uh, so yeah, Legend... Ooh, let's get some money, because if I know anything about Legend Zelda, uh, cutting grass for money is is uh, a vital, vital component. Yeah, so, didn't get much money out of that, did I? Oh, no. On we go. here. I do really love this transition. So it looks like, because it's pitch black, it looks like you're going to go to a loading screen, but they just change the lighting and you get, you get wonderfully another room. It's beautiful. So I do, yeah, visually, aesthetically, I find this, whoa, uh, I, yeah, oh, okay, I'm a bit worried about this. So some grass when you hit it wobbles around, so I'm kind of, and then it explodes. I'm worried, is it like, uh, is, it, is it sapient grass? Or do we have to worry about the moral implications of killing grass? Zelda, Zelda leads us into some weird places. Um, and certainly the camera does too. 
yeah, so my history with the, the Legend of Zelda. I mean, uh, so I grew up in the UK, and Nintendo games don't think had quite the uh, the foothold that they did in, say, the US. Um, here we go. This should hopefully. Uh, there you go. Gets in the right direction. Let's do some stump jumping. Um, so uh, our household had a Sega Master System. Um, that's the only games console we had. Um, and then went on to get um, PCs that had DOS and Windows operating systems, and I played games on those. Uh, sidebar, I love the so uh, there's no there's not really much uh, voluntary jumping in, uh, in Zelda. You just kind of head in the right direction. But the um, the, the animations for doing um, doing jumps are incredibly stylish. I love them. <laughs> uh, it does them with a flourish. Uh, yeah, so we. Um, I didn't. I don't think I was friends with anyone who had uh, a Nintendo system. Um, I was kind of by osmosis. I was aware of the Legend of Zelda and Link as a character. I was kind of confused by the fact it was called the Legend of Zelda and this character was called Link. I I love this little interstitial. These graphics of presumably mask uh, designs flying at us. It's quite psychedelic. I mean, we're going to find uh, quite a bit. Of this game is quite psychedelic, I think. Um, but really stylish. <laughs> What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favour and got rid of it. Hehe. <laughs> oh, boo hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now, fool? I, um, I did mention horror game, didn't I, earlier? Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Oh, you cheeky masked person. Oh, <laughs> aggressive fairy. Floating away laughing, eh? It's a sis. Okay, wait for me, I'm still here. Tail, you can't live without me. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there. Deku boy, do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, help this little girl is asking you. So hurry up! Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Okay, so I think, I think you noticed earlier that these lights were projecting a, a Triforce kind of shape on the ground, which is a nice little touch. Um, yeah, so already loads of great design. So, what's our new attack if I press our attack button? Oh, yeah, you bet it is. It's a. Uh, it's like a, a magical... Oh, it's more of these living plants, sorry, plants. It's like, yeah, it's like a, a magical girl transformation swirl and sparkle. It's amazing. And look at this run. So, Legend of Zelda. Didn't play as a child or an adolescent. 
I only played in adulthood um, because I thought they obviously they had a big cultural footprint and and, and they look cool. So I, I've given a few a go. Um, I think the only one I've completed is the Phantom Hourglass, which um, I was kind of happy enough playing, but kind of didn't really do a lot for me. Didn't really leave much of an impression. But well, yeah, that's the game I played. Uh, so I sub subsequently gone back and had a look at Ocarina of Time. I played a bit of that, but kind of had to abandon that. Um, it was really playing on my. Uh... Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind. So um, that stuff back there, I am um, apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll help you out. Deal? Please. Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got out, got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press the yellow up button and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by without any of my help until then. Yeah, so because of the nature of this game, I have kind of, uh, got a clue of what we're doing to start out with. But first of all, let's go attack some grass. Yeah, so as I was saying, Ocarina of Time, um, really, uh, I mean, it's effective, but it, it really played on my anxiety, so it wasn't that much fun to uh, to play, unfortunately. Um, and I found it very frustrating at points, um, especially like um, trying to sneak into the palace to, to meet with Zelda, and the party, trying to work out the path you had to take to avoid the guards, and whether indeed that was what you were supposed to be doing. Uh, drove me, drove me bonkers, really. Um, so I abandoned that one there, um, but I, that, it had it definitely had its plus points. I've had a go at the original Legend of Zelda. Also, kind of played on my anxiety. Or oh, Tattle, what would you like to say? Um, I will press this to tweet you. Hey, if I call you, press yellow up right away. Demanding. I can tell you're not very used to your Deku Scrub body yet. Deku Scrub, you better get good. Alright, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku Scrub while standing on a Deku Flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower. Press A while flying to descend. Did you get that? Yeah, I got that. Thanks. Are you sure? One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. I've been spin attacking for ages now. Okay, let's stress this out. Holding down and releasing it. This is rather delightful, isn't it? So we get a little twin helicopter blades. And we can make our way out this way. I love it. Um, yeah, Legend of Zelda uh, similarly played on my anxiety. I think I got through the first dungeon, which was kind of further than I thought I'd get. Um, also, in those early Zeldas, the uh, mechanics are rather obscure, but that's kind of typical of games for the time, really. Um, let's see if we can reorient our no, uh, our uh, our cell. How do I? Uh, how do I get out of this view? Hmm. Ah, okay, that'll do. Uh, can I do it like that? That's better. Okay. Want to have this door in sight? Okay. Yeah, I quite enjoyed Zelda 2 when I tried it. It was also anxiety inducing, but the fact that it kind of, um, the way in which I suppose it em embraced its kind of roguelike, roguelite um, elements uh, was actually quite appealing to me because I could sort of incrementally uh, make progress, which I really enjoyed. And I, I, I kind of I'm not, well, we'll find out as I do this as well. I'm not a big fan of 3D action or 3D platforming, but uh, we'll, we'll make the best of what we've got. Uh, I'm much more comfortable in a 2D environment, and I am, um, yeah, like 2D platforming, I quite enjoy it, though I'm not particularly good at it. Um, so, yeah, so Zelda 2 kind of worked for me, although I, um, I similarly, I think I only got as far as the, the first dungeon before I gave that one a break. Let's see what we're going here. Ah, oh, that famous sting when you pick something up. 
I do I do like that within the kind of the canon of um, Zelda you get lots of lots of little musical cues and voice clips and things that, that carry over. It's a nice nice sense of continuity and familiarity. So we got a deco nut deco nuts. Uh, press B while flying to drop a deco bomb. Upon impact it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. So at the moment, not really sure what we'd use that for, but I guess we'll have to work it out at some point. It's likely to be used, isn't it? Oh, that popped out a bit too soon there. Um, yeah, so play some offering of time, as I, as I think I mentioned. Uh, oh, where's the next platform? Ah, okay. Yeah, oh, stop there. Stop there, Deku. Deku scrub. Deku scrub link. Um... Is that it? No, oh no! So, yes, so, I have very luckily had the chance to revisit and uh, play some more of these games with some young relatives. So we've been playing Wind Waker as well, which um, I think is a really well designed game. But I, um, it's kind of a bit bland, it's leaving me a bit cold to be honest. But when we cracked open uh, Majora's Mask, it, um, it really appeals to me. There you go, see? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Zed to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Zed targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or if there's no one to target, you can use Zed to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. Okay, it looks a bit sinister like kind of most of the things in this world, but. Give it, a, give it a look. This tree? Okay. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. That's sad. Uh, yeah, that's pretty worrying. As if that could, like, happen to me. Let's get out, let's get out of here. I love this little bit. There's lots of, um, so there's definitely recurring themes and images and, uh, and disorientation um, and rotation are, um, are amongst them. So, so yeah, so I've mentioned the aesthetics of this, um, this particular Zelda. Um, and for some reason, I, yeah, I really, I think they've, um, they've got a lot more out of the same basic engine than they had in Ocarina of Time. And I think the um, the design is better overall, the environment design, the textures, the, the character design. So for example, if we can get a good look at him, there we go. I find Link quite a bland character. There's not, he's, he's a blank slate, isn't he? Let's face it. But this deck scrub Link is adorable. Look at him, look at his little run. Oh, look, look, he can do this as well, look. Can normal Link do this? Can normal Link hop across water for five five times and then, unfortunately, fall, fall into the water? No, he cannot! Oh, and the sad little eyes! I need a little round mouth. Oh, oh he's delicious. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I am I am very, very much enamoured of uh, designing this game so far. And we'll come up here. There's kind of one more element before we get to like the game proper so let's get to that <laughs> you've met with a terrible fate haven't you <laughs> I own the happy mask shop I travel far and wide in search of masks during my travels a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? 
a mask task. Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Yeah, so uh, this guy, the, uh, the creepy mask guy. Let's have a little look at his, uh, oh yeah, he's gonna... So the uh, the creepy mask guy who only moves in uh, in discreet poses uh, has all these creepy masks on him, uh, and for some reason he's giving us a set time limit and seems to have some kind of mystical knowledge. Yeah, it's all a bit it's all a bit worrying, isn't it? So the, yeah, the, so there are a couple of conceits wrapped up here. One is um, I think I'm. I think I'm in the middle of a Z targeting. I haven't quite worked out how to get out of Z targeting yet. But you can do a jump, which is nice. Oh, maybe. Whoa, like a backflip. Amazing. I think that's for combat, isn't it? Uh, can, can I? Oh, yeah, because I did that to uh, change my perspective. Uh, how do you get out of that? Oh, I don't want an attack, really. Can I do this? And then. So, is that better? I think. There we go. Um, yeah, so is the other is the time loop, which I think is... Oh, what did I mean to do that? Um, which I think is kind of a really interesting uh, mechanic for games to use. Although, obviously, if every game you see it could be um, overplayed. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. But it's a good narrative way of reinforcing gameplay loops, um, which is what games tend to consist of. Um, yeah, so I find this to be kind of one of the most compelling story starts for a Zelda game that I've, that I've seen so far. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with amazing 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. I think you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. Just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine in the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. So yeah, let's um, let's just take this take this slow because oh, um, hi doggy. Um, I think that's kind of how you're meant to play to start with. Oh, rude doggy! Wait, wait, hang on! This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. For well, sure, that's fine. I've already sorted my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that the stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Press start to open the select item screen. Choose and use an item with C. Excellent. So I don't have it. Definitely don't have that moon tier, so. No, I don't. You're a Deku Scrub, so you know just how convenient a Deku Flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another Deku Scrub. The early Scrub gets the nut. That's what they say. Cool. Uh, oh, oh, I'm stuck in. Oh, we're good. I think we're good. Oh, that was some weird camera light. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to that. As I was saying, we're going to have a literally wander around because I think that's what you do in your first um, first run of this. Uh, and while I have some doggy, while I have some previous knowledge from uh, from attempting it before and trying to work out how to record the game as well, because it's not the easiest one to do. 
Um, well, I'm just gonna just take it bit by bit and hopefully not get over knocked over by a dog too many times. Hey, apprentice! Let us stand around looking at the sky all day. There must be an apprentice up there somewhere. Um, I think I remember that from the entry. Lovely. Talk to this person. This post is an eyesore. What a sorry collection of cowards. Blur, yak, foo. What is the poster? Oh, am I? No. Hang on, let's try the water. How do I? Oh, time's passing. Look. Yeah. So, uh, to I guess to wrap up my previous thought. I um I think of the Zelda games I've seen, this one gives the most uh, like personal motivation and dramatic urgency. Whereas I tend to be quite abstract by saying you must go on this uh, this mission to save the world. Um, there's somebody walking on the spot there. Okay, I think I think I sorted out my Z my Z problem, so that's good. What's that person who's walking down the spot? Well, some happy jugglers here. Let's see what they have to say. My, my. Funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny, funny. You're telling me? Like the rumours about the swamp to the south? Did you hear about the kidnapping? Oh, my. The kidnapping. Yep, but then the kid woke up. Get it? Kidnapping. Oh, I got a million of them. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, they do look like the type. Actually, recruiting. Workers wanted to build the festival tower for the carnival. See Muto. Cool. Um, okay, can I sort out this... Uh, is there a setting thing? That map doesn't look very helpful. It's mostly missed. Um, can't use my Kakiri sword or my hero shield because I am a Deku scrub. I have no masks and just some Deku nuts. Um... Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's see if there's any money in these. Uh... Hey! Oh, I think that was the place I was right on the spot. So, uh, oh, I'm, currently, I'm currently on the job. My sub to talk will disrupt my schedule. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. It's a kid. I saw this kid. What's with you? You're wearing a weird hat for a decade. Did you come to town to play? Bet nobody will play with you, right? The adults are all busy getting ready for the carnival. The old astronomer at the observatory outside town is the only one who's spending time playing with us. We bombers have our hideout at the observatory. You have to take a secret route to get to it. Oh, don't be telling Jim in North Clock Town that I told you that. Well, there's um, there's definitely the so this when the world opens up, we can get outside the city. There are these guards who uh, uh, presumably will let us pass. They're very nicely. I love that how they're rendered. They're very detailed. Wait a moment, Duke of Scrub. Do, have you some errand in the canyon? It is dangerous outside the town walls, so I cannot allow a child like you to go out alone. Till you're old enough to carry a weapon, you cannot pass through here without being accompanied by an adult. Adult, adult. That's, that's strange. Okay, I'm not going to go in any of the businesses yet, I'll just sort of wander around the, uh, the open areas. Can look at this place, sir? The Indiegogos! The Zora band that's revived the deep sea sound with its famous song will be playing at the Carnival of Time. Contact Madame Aroma regarding performances and details. I don't know, something... This smell doesn't smell right about that. Um, oh, hello! Well, that's the person who's walking on the spot. Who are you? I'm angry now! Don't speak to me! They must be joking. Now what am I to do? Ah, oh. uh, there's another kid. You look happy. Hi. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Uh, the secret code is... 2, 2, 3, 5, 1, 4... There you go. Wrong! 
Jim said I can't let anyone who doesn't know the code in. If you're not a member, they won't teach you the secret code. If you want to be a member, go see Jim in North Clock Town. Okay, looks like I've got to talk to Jim. Um, if I want to get in with the bombers, which I probably do because uh, we all know Link loves a bomb. A secret route to the observatory? How do you know about that? Only Jim and us are supposed to know about the secret route. And what's this sign up here? This looks like you might be your. Ooh. Little clubhouse. No, okay, no, that's. Sorry. Didn't mean to talk to you again. Then can I look at this thing? Okay. Bombers Weekly News A special review of the Bombers Notebook. You too can master it. Seek out troubled individuals and lend an ear. A record of all the troubled people you meet will be kept in your notebook schedule. Are these people who are likely to use bombs? People are shown in the left column and their schedule appears in the adjacent row. Oh, this seems like a way of. an in game way of. Uh, keeping track of uh, people and events so that we can, uh, uh, I guess, uh, make maximum efficiency uh, during our three-day schedule. New bars show people's schedules and when notable events occur. Something will happen at the time shown. An exclamation mark is added to your notebook. When you make a promise or appointment, be sure to confirm what you need to do. Don't lose heart if you fail to fulfill a promise. Just check your notebook and try again. When you're thanked for easing someone's troubles, take note! By helping someone out, you'll receive a happiness seal. Try to please everyone. I do re I do hope that's uh, not like what a wax seal, but an actual seal, because we all need happiness seals. Okay, I've only got 16 rupees, and I feel like I need more rupees, so we'll keep an eye out for anything we can... Ooh, ah, so this is, I believe this is the north area. There's one important thing I would like to do in the north area. Uh, there's some grass first though, so let's give that a, a whip in. You know what, 20 rupees might just be enough for what I have in mind. So there's these structures, I believe these are... Deposit mail here, the post boxes! ka -ching! Press start to open the select item screen. Choose and use an item with C. Thank you for using the postal system, ka -ching! Okay, back away carefully from that. So this is Jim, let's talk to Jim. I think it's Jim. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. You can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Grr. I see. Let's have a look at this. Uh... Oh, no. My Y-axis, I never, can never quite get my Y-axis right. That's the balloon. Who's time? Oh! Holy cow, I did not realise you could... <laughs> Are people not concerned about that? That's... That's immensely worrying. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay, next time I play with my, uh, my... My young playmates, I'm gonna suggest that we look up um, and see what they say about that. Uh, so this, this is the person I want to talk to. What's this? Green clothes, white fairy. Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though, I am already aged 35. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky! You're so lucky to have a fairy! I know, I know! We should be friends! Yes, yes! In exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? I would love. Oh, it's only five rupees. Bargain. I would definitely take this Clock Town map, please, Tingle. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Bye. You got a map of Clock Town. Now you can find your way around town. The red arrow on the map shows where you entered, and the yellow arrow shows your current location. I'd say indispensable. <laughs> well, call again! <laughs> tingle, tingle! Kalulimpa! <laughs> These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Go steal them! Tingle is such a happy person. I'm delighted to have met them. Oh, Tingle. You are a fairy. Finally, all you need. 
your self-belief, you are a fairy. Okay, I can see a heart container up there. Um, and some kind of slide. Let's give it a go. Oh, made it. Okay. Uh, if I do that, that, okay. Ooh, but how would I... I don't think I can jump to there, can I? Interesting. Well, let's just give it a go. No. Hmm. Maybe when I have different powers. Ooh, lens flare. Nice. The, um... I mean, Ocarina of Time has some good lighting systems, but I think... So does. Uh, so does this game. I think it might have, uh... Might have improved on them slightly. Um, I'm not quite sure why we're facing one particular direction, but I believe this is the fairy shrine we need to come to. Fairy's Fountain. Oh, more of these beautiful, <laughs> beautiful fairies. Oh no, the great fairy! Oh, not the first day, 60 hours remain. Okay, that just sort of was coincidental, I think, not related to the uh, what's happening now. Young one! Please hear my plea! I've been broken and shattered to pieces by the Mars Skull Kid! Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Okay, I will do. Okay, so we're looking out for a fairy like that. So this Skull Kid is causing trouble. Yep, so I really like how um, Link's motivation is tied up with the uh, the greater machinations of what's going on. And also, there is kind of, well, I think it's uh, it's pretty obvious in the, uh, the subtext that there's uh, something wrong here, but it hasn't been, it hasn't been tasked to us. We're just on a, um, a mission to kind of get back get ourselves back really, get our, our body back as it was. Um, and other people are monopolizing on that. Which is the mask seller. Owls. Oh you know what? Ye ye who hold the sacred sword, the proof of our encounter. Uh, so the yeah, it's probably a good time to mention that uh Oh it's the doggy land, okay. Alright, so where haven't we been on this map? We... Oh yeah, we got home. Uh oh. Oh, well, you... well, at least you end up in the water. Um... Okay, so what was I trying to... What was I trying to articulate there? I can't remember. There's... Interesting, so there are some things on my map. Let's go to tower, I have to say. Let's has gone too far. We can't just let this happen. Quick, we have to find the stray fairy in town and return the great fairy to normal. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. I know, tell me about it. Uh, there's an area down here. Uh, let's go to this area. Laundry pool. There is a uh, there is a frog here. I don't really know what we do with the frog. We can only... Oh, I like the music here. Nice and cheerful. Yeah, so I like that there's kind of, there's a mystery, there's a sense of mystery, I like, so the other thing I was going to mention, oh, there's a, whoa, who's this music maker? La la la, they said I was too loud when I practiced in my room, they got mad, sigh, now I'm sad, I'll just stay here all night and away from their pad, you're a child so you must go to bed, Oh, music maker, it's delightful, there's a little bug that crawls around there, isn't it? Yeah, so I like uh, city games. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I've played like a game that's entirely a city game, but in something like um, Planescape Torment, the I'm the section of it I most enjoyed was when you were wandering around Sigil, just kind of talking to people, picking up things, uh, picking up things you could do, um, kind of investigating the the inner structures of the the um, the society. Um, and get to know individuals better. So, and one thing that video games do that I really enjoy, and they don't, not all, not all of them really do it or exploit it very well, is um, is exploration. Just, ex just exploring spaces is really interesting. 
uh, as long as there's something interesting there. So the sign says, those with business, please ring bell. No solicitors, curiosity shop. So if I can, ah, here we go. So can I, hmm, so what I want to do here is, can I, what if I, like, oh, I'm in the water. I think this should do it. There you go. Aha! A masked person. So can I get to there? Oh, okay, that didn't quite work. Oh, they've gone back inside. Well, I think that's what I'd have to do to attract their attention is tap and then get to them quickly, which for which I think I'll have to hop over the water. Hello! Oh, okay. That's probably going to be challenging. Uh oh. Sorry, Link. Let's try again. Oh no! Disaster. I don't think this has any adverse effect, particularly. So, Froggy, you can't really do anything with the Froggy. Um, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful frog. Uh, I suspect there's some kind of story point there. Um, and that's, yeah, that's kind of what I like. There's lots of ne stories nested inside one another. It's um, kind of a, uh, a microcosm uh, that you can explore. That's what I like about city games. And, um, and this has it straight from the off, which is lovely. So you're not kind of thrust into a dungeon, which is, is probably my least favourite part of, of Zelda games, to be honest. Um, I don't think we've been this way, have we? Have we been this way? I feel like there's definitely one part we haven't been to. Uh, let me check it out. So that's that. So what's this orange box that's off to this side? Is it... No, it's not that corner. It's this corner. Right? What does that mean? Interesting. I'm not sure. There's not really anything there. Okay, let's go this way. Um, and let me just check if this was something that I could, uh... Yeah. Oh, the orange box has moved now. So does that mean... You know that shop kind of has a face, doesn't it? I, I might get distracted. Whoa, that's the fairy! Okay, how do I get to the fairy? Okay. Uh, hi, kids. Ah, oh, did you tell me about the... Okay, I won't tell anybody that I heard about the secret from you. I need to get this flower. And then, oh, wait. Uh, kind of navigate over to the fair. Where did, where did you go? Here you go. Aha! Please hear my plea! A mask old kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. Okay. So white dots are people, right? And the orange, whoa, oh, what happened there? Did I bust that? I think I did. I think the camera went inside the pillar. Um, yes, yeah, so there's kind of that section on this bottom right of the map with the orange block in there, which is, I guess is probably a particular person, isn't it? Interesting. All right, let's get back to the, uh, right out. What are you doing? Aren't you going to take this fairy to the shrine near the north gate? That, that was what I was doing. Well, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. Okay, so we haven't got down to day two yet, which is reassuring. Okay. Let's go hot foot it to the great fairy. Such a delightful run. Okay, various fountain. So I, I'm taking. I mean, check my inventory. Is is there a fairy on my inventory? No, I'm just kind of taking it on uh, on trust that the fairy's with us. Yeah.
Oh my goodness. Oh, the great fairy's fabulous. Tattle, and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, but I grew careless. What I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, trippy. I did mention uh, the psychedelia, didn't I? <gasps> Energized. You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. That's exciting. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you will return to your former shape, come and see me. I shall give you more help. Thank you, Great Fairy. As as a player of Zelda 2, I'm very excited to have a magic bar. That's very exciting. Great, so I think we're just kind of dawning day two, which seems reasonable. So my assumption is that now we can uh, bubble blast things, we can probably bubble blast this balloon and thereby impress Jim. Oh, the screen is getting smaller. That's a really nice thing. It tightens up. The aspect ratio tightens up. And you, uh, you get that kind of visual indication that a day is closing, which is really interesting. Okay, so I need to press a button to shoot. Is it? Uh, no, that's wrong button. There we go. Got it. Okay, and then no reticule, so I have to just kind of guess. Right. Uh, oh, that got it. It was me, Jim. I was standing right in front of you. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. You bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need told to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. You don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? I guess as I'll ever be. Alright, line up, guys. Okay. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. I'm lucky that it's the beginning of day two. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, number five, you're too cute. Okay, so. Okay, that was that was good. Oh, you caught me. There's only four left. Amazing, okay. So. Um, it's another place I can't go. My god, where are you, where are you, <laughs> where are you blocking me from going? Wait a moment, Deku Scrub, have you some errand in the mountains? It's dangerous outside the town walls, so I cannot allow a child like you to go alone. Till you are old enough to carry a weapon, you cannot pass through here without being accompanied by an adult. I get the feeling this is kind of going to kind of be a diagrammatic kind of landscape where, hang on, there's a kid there! Kid, kid. Ah, you caught me. Now there are only three left. Awesome. Um, yeah, a diagrammatic kind of landscape where there's like the city as the, the central hub, and then probably like four locations in each of the cardinal directions. I feel like that's that's kind of the layout we're going to have, which feels feels nice. Hang on, the balloon's back. That's ominous. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, I feel like we've done this area. Uh, let's try South Clock Town, which is kind of like Central Clock Town, really. Uh, let's go down this way. What does this sign say? The door to the Clock Tower stairway opens at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Eve of the carnival. 
so it would, be, would that be tonight? A fireworks show will mark the occasion. Clock Town Carnival Executive Committee. Guess we'll find out at some point. Okay, so children. Children, children. Have you seen any children? Hey, have you seen children? Rimmer, don't be standing around looking at your feet all day. Okie dokie. Um, God, have you seen any children? No, okay. Uh, only me. I'm not sure what the little tinkle bell means. About uh, when it gets to a certain time. East contact. Okay, fair enough. Um, hang on, there's a child up there being accosted by a chicken. I don't know what that's about. And there's a child up there on that roof. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, hi guys. The, um, I guess it's worth noting actually the, uh, the weather effects are rather nice, aren't they? Um, and also give a, a real sense of life to this place. Uh oh, I didn't do that quite right, did I? Let's try again. I think over this way? Yes! Haha! <laughs> oh, ha ah, ah. ha! Where did you go? Did you fall off? You did! Child has no care for its own safety. <laughs> and he's cornering. He's cornering this child. <laughs> oh no, you went down the. Oh, okay, you're back. Where did you go? <laughs> this is outrageous fun. Come back. This is like real babysitting. Ha! Ah, you caught me. There's only two left. Okay, well, no one's up here. Um, uh, <laughs> being brutalised by a chicken. Okay. I'm gonna, no, I'm not going to run after that chicken. That looks that looks deadly. Um, let's <laughs> catch this child. I wonder if I can catch it in a bubble. I wonder if that's what what we're aiming for. Mm. No, you can't go. Come on, you can't go out. Yeah, we can. No, cool. That would not be entirely fair, would it? Come on, little child. Number four. Number four. I think I got you. Yeah. Oh, you caught me. There's only one left. Hmm, Jim. So I haven't been to the west part yet. I don't think. So let's head for that. Uh, I think we're making good time, aren't we? So, this, I mean, this is looking like a good run. I don't know. Oh, Tingle! You're in the air! Oh, no, we did get you. Okay, cool. Um, so, west is this. Oh, it's not this way, is it? Because I can't go through. Oh, that's the. Okay, that's the damage one. And then. That's that one, and then that. Oh, okay. Now I've now I've already took myself. Okay, uh, can I Z thingy on Tingle? Tassel. Oh, why do we have to play these stupid brat sort of games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only fourteen hours forty-four left until morning. Oh, thanks for the update. Uh, hang on, let's do, let's do this, and then... Tingle! Okay, the moon looks worrying the host. I'll, um, I'll leave Tingle to his own devices for now. Um, Alright, how do I get to the west? This way, I think. So I want to go this way? Oh yeah, because I never seem to go this way, I think. That's my problem. Uh, right, so I, there's got to be a child around here, right? I don't think I've been to this area. 
That's a child. Hey, you. Oh, no way, you finally got me. Yes, I did, number two. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. Funny you were human. Then I can give you an original Bombus notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. Guess, I guess now, once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. Oh, they're, uh, xenophobic. But I'll teach you the... I've got a teacher of code, just one, like I promised. I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, so it's five, two, three, four, one. Five, two, four, three, four, one. Uh, let me write that down on a piece of paper. Old school style. Okay. Amazing. I love the clip corners there. I don't know if that was intentional. Continuing to pop bling. Tingle, are you still airborne? I take it. Yeah, you are. Okay. I'll, I'll let you uh, work that one out. Uh, this way, I think. Is the right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I remember what I didn't talk about with the um, the bird statues. We'll come to that. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. What's the code? It is five, two, three, four, one. Right? Uh, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, there you go. Yeah, thank you. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh yeah, and uh, the secret bomber's the bomber's secret society of justice forever. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, there's an ominous uh, reverb down here. Night of the second day, 36 hours remaining. Cool, so this looks kind of clock tower related almost. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I was going to say the eagle statues. Are they eagles or owls? The bird statues are related to. Oh, this is a puzzle, isn't it? You know I don't want to do puzzles, Zelda! Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't know if Zelda's even in this game. That's how ridiculous the, the titling is. Unless. The skull killed is really Zelda. That, that'd be fantastic. Um, I got sidetracked again, didn't I? First statues are related. That's a, a way to um, do a, like a uh, a temporary save. Um, oh, ho, 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 this is a mini dungeon, isn't it? Um, I remember that spider model. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. Okay, I can probably shoot that right. Uh. Oh, not very well. Okay, let's not do that. Maybe I can do it now? Oh, uh... Trying to do this. Okay, uh, I do have to shoot then. Okay, let's. Uh... Aha! Oh, that was hard work. Saving. I wanted to talk about saving, friends. Uh, the first that I choose give you a temporary save. Oh, funny. This is kind of a. Uh weird compilation of things I've learned thus far. Kind of forgot them to enter this room. Okay, Tower wants to talk. Wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have two days left. Thanks, Tower. Um, yeah, temporary save with the bird statues. If you strike them with a sword, 
you can't strike the Mother Sword while you're a Deku Scrub. So that's out, uh, first of all. You can't save that way. And according to the manual, the only way you can uh, effectively save, so you can save some of the game states and some of your equipment, is. Ooh, potions, thank you. Oh, they fill up automatically. Fantastic. Um, let's do a shot on this balloon. I think I need to pop it to get up the, uh, that ladder, don't I? Hey, solved a puzzle. Oh, oops, uh, shot unnecessarily. Uh, no, that was, oh, no, <laughs> no, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. There we go. Okay, there's money in that one, that's fine. Um, yeah, uh, play a tune on your ocarina. That's the only way you can save properly. Oh, how do I go up a ladder? Oh, okay. Now I just have to poke myself in the right direction. Um, but you can't get your ocarina back unless you find the skull kit, so I don't know whether that's... Ooh, this is creepy. Very creepy. I don't know whether that's end game stuff? Or... Uh, end of intro stuff. Well, this is a, all a bit Tim Burton, isn't it? Okay, I, so I'm starting to see why chickens don't like you guys. What's up with this scarecrow? Speak! Of course I want to speak to the scarecrow. Yo, hey baby! I'm a silent scarecrow wandering in such pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? Uh, no? Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back any time if you do decide you want to dance. By the way, I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? I certainly do want to learn it. Oh yeah, now listen up. If you play that strange song backwards, you can slow the flow of time. If you play each note twice in a row, you can move a half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. Um, slightly disconcerting that the prompts uh, <laughs> that we now get, uh, we can now we can blow bubbles, is shoot and speak. Uh, okay, thanks, uh, thanks, scarecrow person. Um, interesting stuff around here. So I don't. I don't know if there's much I can interact with there. Doesn't look like it, just the scarecrow really. So that's cool. Uh, let's go up these wonderfully magenta and blue stairs. Um, yeah, so if you... Yeah, depending on when you're actually able to get your ocarina back, you're, you're not able to save. And if you get to the end of the third day, this is very disco. I love it. If you get to the end of the third day, everything will disappear and you'll have to start all again with nothing but the uh, skills and knowledge you picked up along the way. Oh! Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of the, your mischievous friends from the other day. Frum, frum, frum. That little man a troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? I'm reluctant to, but for story purposes I will. I suspect it's going to be... Uh... Ooh! I might think I get to choose what I look at. What's... Is that just lots of graffiti? Oh, it's like a... Oh, the kids on the top of the clock tower. And this, like, rope. Oh. Is it like a rope from the... Where are we? Oh, there's a person on a pillar calling for help. This looks like outside the city to me. Okay. Oh, there's a beam light coming from the clock tower. Skull Kid's on top of the uh, clock tower. We're looking from outside the city. There's a giant ropey thing from down here outside the city. There's a bloke on a pillar. Uh, anything else going on? 
Well, that was interesting. Uh, oh, there's a kind of a rope down there. To... Is it a rope? Oh, that's a tree standing up. Oh, okay. So, oh, now I know what I'm looking at. It's just a tree in our view. It looks like it's heading into space. Receding in space, I should say. Okay, so I just need to get to the top of the clock tower. Really. Interesting. But presumably, I'm not going to get to do that until the last day. So, it's going to be a bit of a last minute rush, isn't it? Oh, crikey. Um, I guess I can investigate the clock tower. Should we do a zoom? Let's do a zoom. Oh, get the wax, it's going. Ah! Amazing. Oh, no! No, no, I did not know! Oh, what's this? Oh! <gasps> oh, okay! Uh, <laughs> uh, that was interesting. Um, can I zoom in on the the weird rock? What's that all about? Is somebody stuck in some mud? Is there going to be a find find the stuck people uh, mission? I think I might just be doing exercises actually, rather than coming out. And there's something over there. It's just a bird. Nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna quit. Well, that was exciting. Um, well, did you find that troublemaker? That loud noise. What was that? Perhaps another moon stair has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door. And that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Hmm. Uh, the door, you say? Uh, the door is... Over there, nice. Okay, let's get to the door. Chill. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. You got the moon steer. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. So I don't know why... Uh, um, ah, we nicely fenced in so that we can't just roam freely around the world at this point. We have to... Uh... It's like my heart is being peered right into. That's a disturbing eye. Interesting. Yeah, I can't get out of here, can I? Well played, game. Well played. Okay, where's that door? Um, head back into the city, I guess. So we can... Um... Oh no, let's talk to the astronomer a little bit more, because there might be something more to say. I don't know how I'm going to find the... Uh... Oh, that's your moon steer, I just realised. What could that troublemaker be doing atop the clock tower? I just hope he's not plotting another one of his no-good tricks. Um, I suspect his trick is probably uh, to end the world. Which is quite a trick, and also very bad. Um, okay, Scarecrow, uh, Scarecrow, uh, I'll come back to you later. D would my song show up on here anywhere? Oh, nice. Moon's tear. In the, what info can you give me on the moon's tear? Oh, no. Was that not the info button? Nope, sorry. Was that, is this the info button? Hello. A shining stone from the moon. Use it with... Oh, use it. With C. What happens if you use it? Should we find out? I mean, I can't, can't save as a safety measure, so should we just do it? This item doesn't seem to work here. Oh, it's the old same as Wind Waker, I get it. So it's context, context sensitive. 
get your um, get your uh, goodies out. <laughs> that was poorly worded. Don't you remember the Deku scrub who wanted the moons tier? Don't tell me you forgot. Whoa, look at the time. We don't even have a single day left. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay, the rumbles are starting. That's, uh, that's the gravitational pull of the moon, I take it. Oh no, now I've got to get back. Oh dear. No, oh, oh okay. Pay attention to the direction change there. Oh, hang on, the pops are back, so that's good. The uh, spider probably will be too. Oh, you know what? The the Deku may even be. Are you back, Spider? You're not back. Amazing. That's helpful. Thank you. Um, is the Deku that we want to uh, trade homes with? Is in the same location as the clock tower. That might be our way onto the clock tower. So in fact, the Skull Kid might be deliberately leaving us a trail. In fact, I kind of suspect that they might be doing that. Okay, so I suspect everything's probably going a little bit wrong now. How do we get to the place that I want to get to, which is the south? I think that's where I want to get to. This way. Somebody's still hammering away industriously. Uh, we haven't been in any, the, any of the shops yet, but I'm suspecting that's something I can leave for next time around, either, uh, well, whether we get to save or not, I suppose. Okay, there's a... interesting. There's two orange squares this time. Oh, I accidentally did that. So that was fun. Let's, um... What if I go here, and then go... Bow, 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 bow. Ah, that stone! You must hand it over to me! In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Yes? We traded the moon steer for a land title deed. <laughs> Amazing. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or a strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Well, that's an amazing insight into Deku society, isn't it? I love, I love this world building. I like heading off with those possessions. Oh, this is delightful. Absolutely delightful. <laughs> Bye. Right, let's get in this flower. Right, where do we want to head for? The clock tower? Oh, we got quite a high one off this. So we can definitely get this heart container. We've got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart. Oh, it's not even a whole heart container. It's a new container you put together will increase the amount of life energy you can have. Okay. That's slightly less generous than I was hoping. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year, at midnight on the eve of the car. So we can't... Oh. So we can't get anywhere from here? Let's have a look around. So there's... That person there. Oh, I'm not enjoying these rumbles. Um... Oh no! Oh no! Um... So I don't know... I don't really know if the clock tower is... Is what I need. Where I need to go. Can I target the person who's over there? What, what do you have to say, Tassel? Hang on. Press the wrong arm stick there. Midnight. So it's got to be midnight tonight then, if it hasn't opened before. Hmm. Can we get to the worker who's on top? Because I don't know, there's an, or an or interesting orange thing there on the map which. Might be relevant. Well, you know what? We might be able to get to them. Oh, it's a chest. Oh, it means chest. Now I understand. Ooh. 
You might be able to get there. Let's have a look. One more day. Oh, almost. I'm gonna skate in past this guard. Ow. Oh no, I hit the dog. Oh dear. Uh, that was embarrassing. Okay. Um, so should I just wait here until the time is right to go in the... Is this the door? That looks like the door, doesn't it? Oh no, that's the door to downstairs. Interesting. Do you have anything to say, Creepy Marcella? Oh, Creepy Marcella? <laughs> Why, hello! Did you find that little imp? You can get back the precious item that was stolen from you. I will return you to normal. Surely you should be able to find him right away. Time continues to pass even as we speak. There are only 12 hours left. Please do not forget my precious mask. Uh, I forgotten. Okay, so it's not that door. So I probably need to get up to the other door, don't I? To be ready. Okay, so all of, I think I've done like the, the critical path, which is interesting. I guess that's what the game leads you to, doesn't it? Oh, there's a little heart there. Like the final day, 12 hours remain. So what time is it? It's six. Everybody's gone away. Fair enough. Oh yeah, so it was six o'clock. The symbols on either side of the uh, timer confused me slightly. So yeah, so I'm not quite sure what the beam of light from the clock tower is all about. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to wait here, and um, I will bring us back when something happens. Okay, it's midnight. The fireworks are going. Oh, hello. This is moving. Oh! Well, that's different. Stair oh, where are those stairs? Oh, that's where I'm standing, right? That's still very inaccessible for everybody. Bar me, okay. Don't stop now, look! You can get up there now! I wasn't, you were stopping me. Oh my goodness. Are we right at the top? Huh. Well, I think we did what we we needed to do. Sis! Ah, Tail! I've been looking for you two! Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on! You little thing! Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry! Before who are there, bring them here! Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me, hee <laughs> hee! Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, 
I'm just trying to stop it. Terrifying. Okay, what, uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, oh no, I accidentally got the D down, that's the thing to work here. Um, so can I shoot? What am I going to be shooting at? Oh, you! Okay. Okay, this is kind of a boss battle, isn't it? Okay, what about... Aha! My first bubble. Aha! Okay, I would like the ocarina, please. You got the ocarina of time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A and the four C buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Zelda Movie Zelda is in this game. You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Is it black and white? Very, very stylish. Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please. Take this. I am praying, I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. Hang on. Okay, write it down. Play it with A and C. Okay, uh, that would be that. that. Oh, oh, oh. How do, how do I do this? I get. I admit this isn't something I've mastered in. No. Do I have to play it a long in time? Oh no. Okay, here goes, fingers crossed everybody. Oh, amazing it worked. You remembered the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Okay, that's a good hint. Snap out of it! What are you doing, Lost in Memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us. Somebody! Anybody! Got us some time! Help us please! We need more time! Okay, uh... The, the time for action is now. So let's play this ocarina as, um, as it instructed us to do. Uh, that can go... I don't really need my title deed at the moment. Ocarina is more important, so... Let's uh, queue up this ocarina. Huh? When did you get that instrument? <laughs> wow! Okay, so the ocarina in Deku form is is some kind of euphonium, I think. Amazing! All right now, can I remember how to play this? Yes, I can. Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Thank you rather than face impending destruction. Ooh. 
I see. Hang on, that looks like my Deku seeds and all my rupees. Cheeky time vortex. Previously, on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. On the first day, 72 hours remain. Well, I feel like that's an achievement. We're right back at the start. Ah, oh, nice, more rotational imagery. Well, what just happened? Everything has... Ah, oh, so Tattle remembers what's happened too. Started over. Yep, there's our old friend, the moon. The grimacing moon. Well, what are you anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument! Wait, that's it. Your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? I mean, we haven't had a chance to do anything since so we got back to the past, have we? <gasps> Hooray! We did it, folks. Let's pause it here. Oh, amazing. I... I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, this may be the only video I do of it. We'll see how things go. It was quite a struggle to put together. Um, I had to overcome some technical di technical difficulties to get the uh, ocarina to, to function properly. Um, yeah, so it was quite a lot of hard work. I, I did really enjoy the game. So um, I guess when you come to watch this, you might know if I've made any further videos or not. If not, those are the first three days and um, some thoughts on Legend of Zelda in general. Um, I think it's a really lovely game and um, I'll definitely be playing some more whether, uh, whether it's uh, for a let's play or not. So until next time, take care. Bye bye!